Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting screencast and the problem reads uh, replace the loading shown by the, an equivalent single result and force and they specify the x and the y coordinates of this line of action. This problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics and Statics uh, textbook 13th edition by R.C. Hibela. We have a slab and we have been asked to replace the loading shown by an equivalent single result and force and specify the x and the y coordinates of this line of action. All right, let's assume this position which we are going to redraw if need arises, okay? So for now, let's say, yeah, we have that line there like that. And let's also say, uh, let, let me just bring it inside like so a little bit. All right, that's good enough. we we'll do that. We also do that, we do that, we do this, we do this, we do this, we do this. We just clean it up like so, like so, like so, like so, like so, like so. Let's just touch it. Okay, bring it closer like that, 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 like that. Great. And then let's indicate, let's assume it's down, pointing down. All right, so let's assume that is our resultant. A resultant which we are going to call f r z then we call this as our d y then we call this as our d x all right let's check it out so we are saying f r z times dy times dy is supposed to be equal to uh, the summation of moments about the x-axis and f r z dx is supposed to be equal to summation of moments about uh, the y-axis all right, and then summation of forces in the z axis going up in our po reference positive this is going to be equal to frz which is equal to 100 uh, minus 500 minus 400 and this is equal to minus 800 newtons we just simply means this is 800 newtons and the force is pointed down okay and then we have summation of moments about the x-axis all right using the right hand thumb room about the x-axis only 500 and 400 will participate, 100 do not give us any moment about the x-axis because its lever arm is equal to zero. So we have uh, 100, 500, 500 is giving us a negative moment as well as 400. Since the thumb is pointed in the opposite direction of our assumed positive for x-axis. So 500 and 400 will give us a negative moment about the x axis so it will be minus 500 times the lever arm once the lever arm that's a four so this is a square four by four okay and then minus 400 uh, minus 400 by four again so this is equal to 500 by 4 is a 2,400 by 4 is 1,600, 
and this gives us a 3600 uh, newtons see, meters and then summation of moments about the y-axis this is going to be equal to uh, 400 do not participate for the moments about the y-axis is only 100 and 500 uh, 500 will give us a positive moment uh, while 100 will give us uh, a negative moment so we'll have 500 uh, by 4 minus 100 by 3 so this is 2000 minus 300 which is just 1700 newton meters so let's now uh, apply these equations let's start with the first one okay so this one our frz again let me pull this i want a bit of straight lines all right so here we need to pay attention the left hand side must be equal to the right hand side these are both moments on the left and on the right and the signs will come from the directions of the moment using the right hand thumb rule okay summation of moments for summation of moments about the y-axis we already found a value which is positive okay positive it means the moment is positive and uh, it's along the y the positive y axis so we expect a positive moment all right okay so now uh uh for frz to give us a positive moment it means frz is supposed to be positive then uh, times in the liver arm which is a dx so what is FRZ? FRZ is just going to be 800 times DX, which is equal to a summation of moment about the Y axis, which is 1700. DX, therefore, is just going to be equal to, grab your calculators, 1700 divided by 800 is a two point one two five meters this i'll not round it off i'll leave it the way it is let's get the other one which is this one uh all right we can come up to there like that so frz again summation of moments about the x-axis what did we found we found a negative okay so uh for that to be negative we expect frz there for that to be negative then we'll have to assign a negative negative 800 by dy okay because look at that frz uh, by dy will cause a negative moment so this will be equal to what we already found which is a negative minus 3600 what do we get 3600 divided by 800 is 4.5 so dy is equal to 4.5 but wait look dy is equal to 4.5 When you look at the dimensions of our slab, we say 4 meters by 4 meters, but we have one value that is higher. So what does this mean? It means our equivalent will be outside our slab or our plate, right? Mm -hmm. So we need to cancel this. I mean not canceling, deleting, erasing this so that we redraw the a proper exact position where the equivalent, a single result and force will be located which will be outside this plate because we have a dy equal to 4.5 and yet this plate is just a 4 meters by 4 meters so let's delete this stuff and redraw this once more again okay so let's say uh, we have 
our four okay let me use we have our 4.5 let's say somewhere there like that okay something like this all right and then let's say we have our 2.5 let's say somewhere there i mean our 2.21 somewhere there I will move it a little bit somewhere there somewhere there let me extend this line like so and then let's have this right something like that let's clean it up uh, that location there that location there all right something like that like that like that also do the cleaning up to there and there cleaning up to there and there you dot it like so dot it like so and then let's add some these vertical lines like so and there like so like so and there like so right and then here let's apply this let's apply this uh, resultant i mean component in the in the in the in the z which we calculated as 100 I mean 800 newtons then we have our dx we have dy there this dx is equal to 2.125 meters and then dy is equal to dy is equal to uh, 4.5 meters all right i think this is about it uh the equivalent single resultant force is acting outside the plate i hope the video was helpful i hope the video was helpful and if it was give me a thumbs up like my video continue subscribing and liking my channel bye bye and see you in my next uh, screencast.